Welcome back here. Many are certain if New Haven native Judge Constance Baker Motley were to be alive today, she would be President Joe Biden's nominee to fill the upcoming Supreme Court vacancy. And today, Congresswoman Rosa DeLauro talked about a bill that she introduced that would give her some well-deserved recognition. Fox 61's Tony Terzi continues our celebration of Black History Month. Appropriate that today's festivities were held inside the Dixwell Community House because it was in this New Haven neighborhood where Constance Baker Motley grew up, later becoming the first black female federal judge. As a pioneer who would have turned 100 several months ago, congressional legislation was recently introduced nominating the late judge for a congressional gold medal. The first black woman to attend Columbia University School of Law, the first black woman to argue in front of the United States Supreme Court, the only female attorney on the legal team that won the Brown versus Board of Education. Which was a landmark desegregation case. And she won nine of her 10 civil rights cases that she argued before the Supreme Court, representing some very high profile clients. People like, um uh, Martin Luther King Jr., uh, who she also uh, got out of jail a few times. That professor calling Judge Motley his role model, later writing a book titled simply Constance Baker Motley. I began to realize that there was a, uh, the historical record did not have certain names in it, and Constance Baker Motley's was the most prominent oh, yeah. name that I can think right. of. And retiring Supreme Court Justice Stephen Breyer spoke very highly of her as well. He said that if she had come around 20 uh, years later, she would have been on the Supreme Court. The congressional tribute to Constance Baker Motley Act of 2022 is expected to receive bipartisan support, but just when remains unknown. In New Haven, Tony Terzi, Fox 61 News.